Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the curly rod set, okay? Um, I will start with talking about all the hair products that make this look successful. So because I don't wanna make the video so long, I am going to share my, um, my process with this part. So all of this is already completed, which is three fourths of my hair. Yeah, so all of it is completed. I just wanna show you. And I am going to show you with this part um, how I achieve, you know, the curly rods, the curly rods, you know? So to begin, to begin, I have to show you what I use, what I use. So important, so important. Okay, so my favorite products for a curly rod set is, and of course, I probably mentioned a couple of them before because it's my favorite. Um, so of course, right, the Vigoro Mousse. The other video that you saw that I was doing my twist out, I know you noticed that my uh, my mousse was finishing. So this is a brand new one and I love it so, so much that that's why I took a little break from doing um, the curly rod set because I didn't have my favorite ingredients. <laughs> so yes, it's back, it's back. And I love it because it has super hold enriched with argan oil they definitely not lying about the hold i love it and i feel like for the curly rod set you need some hold you know very important and then i also love it because it creates super silky shiny curls and eliminates frizz eliminates frizz how do you feel about that how do you feel about that i feel good and it does me good so so yes here is a brand new one i'm so happy because when it's finishing like it's not even foamy anymore and i feel like the foam and mousse is exciting when it comes out so yes this is a main ingredient of mine okay um so definitely check it out if you can this is another main ingredient it will definitely give you that salon finishing touch and look to your curls so this is very important and it's also finishing as well um it says reversion resistance shine hold body volume finishing spray um so this is what it does i'm just gonna go to the juicy stuff um, holding spray to achieve longer lasting firm crisp curls with greater shine body and volume achieve a salon smooth finish for hair that lasts so that's what it does and I always believe it because it does it for my hair all the time these two um, hair products that I just told you about are very important to me you probably hear the passion Okay, so the next one that is a beautiful, beautiful product is, is by ESO Plus Caffeinated Curls with Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. Two ingredients that I love, love, love. And I love Shea Butter. I actually, oh, I can't be doing that. I have makeup on. Um, Right there itched a little, but you got to remember when you have makeup, you can't be doing certain things to your face. Okay, so... Caffeinated curls with coconut oil and shea butter. Natural curl enhancer. Wake up your curls. Energize, define, and stimulate lifeless curls. So right here, right here, real quick, real quick. Wake up your curls with this moisturizing natural curl enhancing cream. Uniquely formulated with caffeine to stimulate and add definition to lifeless cur curls. Curls, curls. Plus, infused with coconut oil and shea butter to moisturize, add shine, and tame frizz. So it's sulfate-free and paraben-free. Um, it says the natural new science behind stimulating hair growth. So I really love this um, product right here. Let me give you a little zoom, zoom, zoom. And then um, I love this product and I've used it also in like um, a wash and go, and it does really good. Um, 
in that format as well, okay? So the other ingredients that you're gonna need for this um, look is also a oil, like to seal everything um, at the end. I like to put it at the end before drying my um, my curly rods, okay? So a oil, I know I've been mentioning this one lately and it's going down, it's going down with my, um, you know, the massages I do and stuff. So yes, so this one is strengthening and scalp oil. It has biotin and rosemary and is not available in Amazon, unfortunately, is available in Ross, okay? So that's that. Um, the other one, I haven't done my baby hairs yet. I wait till the end to do it, okay? So this one is an Edge Booster Stronghold Water-Based Pomade. Um, it's pineapple scent. I have mentioned it in my channel before. It smells amazing. Um, so yes, that's another one that I use. Of course, the Edge Control Brush. This is a three-in-one because it has this long piece of comb right here um this and the and the brush okay so the little cute comb the brush um i love this one my sister-in-law gave it to me it's so cute and gold um and then um a wide tooth comb and then sorry i don't want to overwhelm you but these are all the steps i'm just trying to show all of them so this i secure my baby hairs with like the um the edge control um band i think it's called yeah edge control band so i'll definitely leave all these products um the information in the description box below so check it out if you're interested the link directs you directly to um the product or at least the category so you could choose you know which one best suits your needs okay so i'm happy to see you are back in my channel and definitely do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share it with an auntie with a best friend with a cousin that will benefit from this video i will definitely appreciate it share the love share the love share the resources i will appreciate it so definitely um do you see how healthy my hair looks it looks shiny it looks shiny um i used a um a shea moisture um shampoo um the throwback one the first one that i ever used <laughs> when i um when i started this journey right and then i used a um, shea moisture deep conditioner so i did not bring it with me right now but i would definitely leave it in the description box um the deep conditioner experience was that it left my hair very very moisturized to the point let me tell you something to the point that when I started doing like this curly rod set and like the tangling and sectioning it and stuff, I'm like, did I leave some conditioner by mistake? Like it feels extra like moisturized, you know? So whoever's looking for moisture, definitely check that out. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. I actually left it on the other side of my living room i can see it now but yes um i definitely don't want to pause the video so i'll leave it in the description box below okay before we get started with this section i just want to say um i am working on a lot of exciting videos to come i am excited i brainstorm new ideas every day i'm passionate i'm passionate i'm passionate i actually had um side note i actually had a close friend of mine request a makeup video tutorial um yeah so i'm not fully confident with my makeup but of course i'm willing to help anyone when I say I'm not fully confident, let me clarify. I don't know if I can be a good explainer. You know, like if I can explain to the point where you can get it and and learn from that, you know? I feel like with um with hair, I'm already like I I'm so experienced, not so experienced, but I have tried, I did trial and error. I made a lot of mistakes. I, so I know how to explain it already, but with makeup, I don't believe it or not. I don't do my makeup 
as much now with like the youtube videos i am getting like a lot of experience again and it's making me more confident but i don't know if i could explain it well but i'm gonna try so look out for that video um in the future near future okay so enough of the side talk let's get to action i'm happy you're here i'm happy you're here i'm happy you're here okay so let's start so this is how my hair looks right now okay this is how it looks the baby hairs are not done i usually like um to do it as kind of like the last step like um like after the drying process okay so of course i'm using my curl enhancer the one that i just showed you and i am going to add a lot of it so let me tell you something while i'm doing this let's talk let's talk um so i know you can't talk back but of course you can comment below after don't be shy okay talking about comments let's talk about that first and then let's talk about hair again don't be shy to comment I see a lot of you and I appreciate it. Don't worry, you know, I appreciate that you're giving me, you know, you're texting me and you're telling me how you feel about my videos, like privately, like one-on-one, -on -one. but could you please be brave and bold? Like, just like I'm trying to be brave and bold this year. Could you be brave and bold with me and leave the comment below? below i appreciate the one-on-one -on -one, you know the text messages and stuff especially if you know me personally but um could you try to be brave and bold like i am on the youtube platform i'm shy and i'm trying so if it's because you're shy please 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 don't be shy i'm trying to create like a positive um environment in my youtube channel because that's what i'm about so um so yeah of course i want to keep it you know beautiful so um so yeah this is the product that i showed you earlier this is the one i'm using and that i use for um for the rest of my hair oh yeah there's some hair in there but look i want to show you that i just use it and i use a lot of product I use a lot of product and that, oh, that's the next point that I wanted to tell you. So, okay. My hair takes long to dry. Could you comment below if your hair takes long to dry? I have thick hair, if you can notice. I have thick, very thick hair. So it takes very long to dry. And, um, and, um, yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, this is what I was going to say. Sorry. I get so excited and I just forgot to bring something closer. So, that's what threw me off. Okay, I'm going to have to go get it because I need it. It's the curly rod rollers um, set or whatever. I need it. I need it to show you. Okay, so, let me tell you something. Um, My hair, approximately, with this dryer, this new dryer that I have, it takes four hours to dry. I don't want to scare you. It's probably because I put a lot of product and my hair is thick. Um, but it takes four hours to dry. And it's my newest investment, right? Because um, I started doing the curly rod set like during the pandemic, which, you know, I stood home a lot. And it could have take more than an, a day to dry because I wasn't going outside and all of that. So then it took like a day and a half to dry. Um, I know this sounds crazy, but recently this year I invested in a portable um, hair dryer. So with that being said, it takes like four hours to dry. I don't put it on high heat. And if I do, I do it quickly. So that's why it takes long as well. So, you know, to each its own, whatever you want to do, right? Okay. So I'll be back because I have to get something very important. And don't leave, don't leave. I'm coming back. So I'm back, okay? So I'm back and I have um, my curly rods right here. And I hope that's the word that that um, that you call it. Because from when I first um, 
was told about curly rods and stuff that's the name that i stick to it maybe other people use different names or you know how things have more than one name but um this is what i call it curly rod set and i use a basket to keep all of them and i have different colors and different sizes okay so i'm going to show you how i get this done okay so let me tell you something i put the curl enhancer right so now i'm going to put the um mousse right you see how i love when it's new because it gives me this and that's what makes mousse exciting <laughs> okay sorry i am i'm dramatic too i should have been one yeah i'm dramatic so so you know like i'll be excited about the little things you know i'll be excited okay so okay here we go so then of course you know get the comb or the brush whatever your preference is and just make sure that your hair is detangled and that it you know you're um putting all the product smoothly evenly okay so i feel like we're done with that part okay so this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do okay so before i begin i know that in the um the curly rod set with my favorite hairstyle like a video previously i mentioned like um the accessories that i love that i usually put in the back of the um hairstyle i wanted to show you yeah, because i know i forgot last time look how beautiful so i've been using that to like um to help me with this you're gonna see how okay so Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me position myself. Let me position myself because I need a mirror. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, I usually start with the bottom, right? So, I get a piece here, right? And then this is how the clip is going to help me because I'm going to put the rest of the hair here, right? And then, there you go. So, comb it again, right? Make sure it's, like, detangled. Look at how juicy. Look at how juicy. You see? Like, in this healthy hair journey, um, one of the most important things is really, like, the products that you choose that's how i feel like the products that you choose and of course like your routine you know and staying consistent everybody that knows me and loves me they already know how i feel about my hair right right the people that um that know me and love me you can already tell because um they're the ones that usually um comment like on my on my um on my youtube videos like they're supporting me so much, but, um, and it means a lot to me and they already know how I feel about hair. So they feel good that I'm taking this step and staying consistent with YouTube videos and posting, you know, every week. Um, hopefully I'll get more comments, more subscribers, more people that see my, um, my efforts, you know, um, but so far so good. Um, it feels great for the people that I have touched, you know, the, um, um, the people that I have touched, the people that have provided um, feedback, feedback is always helpful. Okay. Thank you in advance. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But let's get into this video because I feel like I could talk forever. Um, so this is one of my favorite sizes. This is the size that my sister-in-law gave me. These are the first curly rods that I ever had. This size is my favorite because long hair can go here and you can separate it well and you could put kind of a lot of hair you know compared to the other ones that are smaller i'm saying but don't put too much hair because then it's gonna take longer to dry okay so let's get started this right this right here i was just like when i first received that i'm like how do you do this how do you how do you use this okay so you're gonna start with your ends okay and i hope that I am at a good angle so you can see it. Okay, yes, I think you could. Okay, so you're going to start with your ends and you're going to secure it. Oh, you see how this, okay. 
it wants to leave. Okay, so you're gonna start with your ends and you're gonna secure the ends, right? You're gonna show it some extra love. Okay, it's secured. So then after that, you're going to separate your hair, right? Don't do it too close and roll it and roll it around, right? And then fold it right there. I hope that the angle, oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a mirror here so I could show you what I'm working with, you know, like do it right. And then I'm trying to show you. So I don't know if I got the angle right, um, but hopefully. Okay. So you're going to clip it. You're going to clip it is the last step. You're going to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, and you're going to clip it last. Okay. So I'm going to show you some more. Is this too much? Yeah, hold on. Um, this is too much. Okay. You know what? I could do a gray one here because I want to show y'all. Maybe doing it in the front would be better. Okay, so let me detangle this, right? This is another section. Put away the rest. You don't want nothing in your way, right? That's one thing that's very important. And then let me put like another um, right here. Let me put another gray one here, right? Since this part is um, big. And hopefully I could do it. Let me do it in this angle better, just in case you didn't see it right. Okay, look, secure the ends, secure the ends. Like make sure they look, oh yeah, let me give you a close up. Make sure they look like shiny, detangled, put together, like all in the same directions, all of that. Okay, look, then you're gonna go up. You're gonna go up. You're gonna go up, up and twirl, up and twirl and go around and around and around. And then you see the last one, the last one, when you feel it like close to your scalp, you're gonna go like this and secure it. Now it's secure, look, beautiful. Let me give you the other angle. Okay, now you was able to see it better. Okay, good. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna do like a small one here so you could see like the other colors and how it's a little, different okay so here we go sometimes you know you gotta take out the hair that's already on the roller and then okay so this is the red one this is the red one and it's smaller and thinner so i'm just gonna show you with this piece of hair how it can fit so it, with with these smaller ones that are not like the gray ones um it's gonna be a little more difficult, okay, to like, to like put the space because it's not so big. So secure it, right? Secure it, and then, and then continue, continue, continue. You see, try to space it out the most that you can, because I know it's little, you know. Okay, and then when it gets to here, close to the scalp, right? What you gonna do is close it. Close it, close it, okay? So, then you're gonna continue and do like another section. Right? And then, okay. Okay, so. I feel like at the beginning, what you like, if this is new to you, what you could do is like, you know, just estimate like the rollers versus like what's what hair. Like that's probably gonna be like maybe a little challenging. Like what roller belongs to what? But after a while, when you do it, um, you know, like consistently, you'll know. Like I'm like, okay, this one is like a chubby one, right? So I feel like I could put like a little bit more hair than the red one. Oh, 
okay got excited but that's like a good example you see how in the red one like i didn't put that much hair you see i split it with a gray one because the gray one holds a lot of hair this one holds like a little bit like you know make it a little thinner section but this one look at this amount of hair i'm gonna put it in this pink one okay so it's good that i'm giving you like different type of like roller examples to see you know hopefully it helps you if you consider doing this as a style in the future which i hope so so secure the ends as usual secure it then space you see how it just how it just comes together okay then i'm reaching the scalp so i'm gonna fold it fold it fold it okay so this is how that one came out okay and then i'm gonna do this one there's a hair on my mouth where are you going okay so um i'm gonna do so with this one i just want to show you the amount of hair right and what roller did i choose so i chose the orange one let me take out these hairs as much as possible the ones that are already there <laughs> sorry guys okay so here you go okay so there you go secure it secure it secure it the beginning okay okay then continue i love all the different colors and you know and like the different sizes okay close it close okay perfect yes perfect okay and then let me see i didn't want to make the video so long but sometimes it's like unavoidable <laughs> okay so i think this should be is it big okay this should be the last yeah i think that could be in one room yeah okay let me do let me do this one okay the tangle okay so i'm gonna use a blue one okay for this and then Comment below if my instructions were good. You know what I mean? Like, were, like, detailed and, like, gave you confidence to try it. <laughs> That's, like, a good feedback. Was it helpful? Okay, you see? We're getting to the skull. Close it. Perfect. Okay. So, there is about two to three more left. Let me see this one. Okay. Just so I won't make the video too long. Yeah. There's about yeah. I'm almost done, okay? So um so with this one. With this section that I'm about to do now, maybe we can use a yellow one. And that's what keeps it exciting too. It's like, oh, okay, like, you know, colorful things. Like just making, I know this is like, you know, um, maybe what you think is like a sacrifice because it's time consuming, but just make it exciting. I feel like just having pretty colors on your hair is exciting maybe <laughs> okay so there you go close it okay so we're almost done we're almost done okay so this is the last one and what color am i going to put 
should I do? I'm gonna just do another yellow one. Okay, so okay. So this is the last one. Look at the look at the amount of hair and look at the roller that I chose. Okay. So as usual, secure, secure, secure the ends, right? And then go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay. And close. Okay, perfect. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We're done, we're done, we're done. Look at how colorful I look. Let me show you all the angles, right? All the angles, right? So it's done, right? But it's not done. Let me stop. Okay, so the baby hairs, I usually wait until after it's dry because that's just how it comes out better for me. So I'm going to show you that in the part two, right? The baby hair process and when I unravel it. So oil right oil you're not done oil seals everything so where you're gonna put the oil it's right here right in the sky the middle just sealing everything sealing everything for moisture okay okay so okay right and then and then right i'm a little extra right so what i do is put a little little bit of mousse right at the top right like i don't have enough <laughs> right but okay you see just for like the little the little um hairs that were like up that's like my habit like the little hairs that be up in the middle after the rollers okay so you see this is how it looks so far, right? So the final, final step of mine that's very, very, very important, right? Now I got all this. Let me see if I can open it. Okay, because, oh, my hand is slippery. I knew it. And I don't have my towel around me. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Open. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. This is the second time I use that joke, but my support system, they said that joke and I'm not over it. I'm like, how you say something so funny? You know, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Okay, I love that joke. So if I use it like three or four more times, don't get tired of it. Okay, so here we go. This right here is... <laughs> is the product is it's, it's a good product it's just good so what i do is this is the final touch i put it all around okay so it's hard to not let it go on your face okay i try my best um especially with makeup okay so this is the final 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 process the final step i know it's long okay so just put it in every roller. It gets messy on this step. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, my ear. Okay. Okay, try to just put it as best as possible on each roller. It will thank you later. Okay, I think I'm extra, you know? But I think I... Okay, so I, I know you realize why my hair takes four hours to dry. I put a lot of products, but I need it to look juicy. You get what I'm saying? That's important. That is important. So I'm ready for the dryer step, you guys. I made it. I made it to the dryer step. Um, so I'll definitely leave all the information below. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Um, I love all these products. And as you can see, um, they already look amazing because you see that shine. Let me give you a close-up. Hello. Let me not forget the close-up. You see that shine already? So when you take out these curls, <laughs> you are going to be so happy and you're going to be like it was so worth it you know so that is the end of part one stay tuned because part two is 
me unraveling the curls and showing you that process, um, doing my baby hairs and all of that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I heard, I hope, look at me, come on, act right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new and I hope you feel inspired and motivated. Even if I touch one person in this video, I appreciate it and I am thankful. You know what I mean? And of course, I hope for more people to be touched and motivated. But if I did it for just one person, it already means a lot to me. So just let me know how you feel. Um, about this video. Let me know if you're going to try it. Let me know if you feel motivated. Let me know. Let me know, girl. Let me know. And yes, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time for the part two. Stay tuned. Bye.